All right, so we're looking at 3D printing today, and we're going to have our Tinkercad intro. Uh, so part two here is the intro. Uh, you're going to be watching your Edpuzzle video here. Uh, you're going to access Tinkercad.com throughout the video. So if you click on this website, it actually takes us to right here. Uh, so this is Tinkercad. Um, uh, we are going to be designing our uh, keychains on Tinkercad, and there's a ton of other stuff you can do. Uh, so clicking on, we're going to click on sign in. You may not have a login yet, but we're going to click on sign in. Uh, clicking on sign in, then you're going to go down here to where it says sign in using social providers. Click on that. Our social provider is Google. Click on that. Um, and here it'll ask you a couple questions. Which uh, account you want to use? Please use your PC schools or PC students account. And then it should keep on rolling right through here. Sometimes this takes a minute to log in, but down here in the lower left you can see waitingfortinkercad.com. While that's loading up, um, you can see on here part three is making your keychain. Part four is going to be submitting. Part five is going to discuss how we go about printing this. And part six is some cool videos that I've posted here, and I'll post some more on there uh, that you can watch about um, 3D printing and just some cool things going on in the world. Um, but Let's go to Tinkercad now. Let's check it out. This is my dashboard here. So these are everything I've created over multiple years. Um, I could go through and delete some stuff. I just haven't. I want to go settings and I could delete. Um, right here is where you create a new design. The first time you log in, it may not look like this for you. In order to get to where it looks like this, you will need to click on the Tinkercad logo. So if I click on this logo up here in the left hand corner, you can see it reloads and it's going to take me to um, my dashboard, my three designs. Uh, for now, uh, we are going to create a new design. So a brand new design here. All right, this here, um, first thing I'm going to do before I screw with anything else is change the label. And I am going to label this here uh, Tinkercad Intro. All right, so I know what I'm doing here. Tinkercad Intro. This is my work plane here. Two fingers down. I want you guys to click on two fingers down on your trackpad. And you should be able to move your work plane around. Two fingers down and rotating and moving around. Getting different views of your work plane right there. I can also rotate this box up here. I can click on front view, I can click on a different view, right side view, I can get a top view, and keep on rolling around. I can also move around with my two fingers again too. I can zoom in and zoom out there too also, zooming in and zooming out, just like scrolling down a web page. I can also click on uh, different views, perspective views here, or different views of my work plane. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom out right there on the right side of things. Cool. All right. Um, next up, these are your basic shapes here. You can scroll through some of these basic shapes. Beyond the basic shapes, you will see text and numbers, characters. Um, there's also connector pieces. Uh, there's featured shape generators. So these take a little bit, a little bit to load up, but these are some cool things that you can add to it. You can cut and you can build. Uh, there's lots of more. There's assemblies. There's Principal kits of her dinosaurs. <laughs> if you wanted to check that stuff out, um, and you can also favorite stuff too. If you wanted to favorite stuff, I have not favored anything on there, but I'm gonna go with basic shapes for now, um, and I'm gonna choose a box. Box drags over. Uh, we are dealing with millimeters, so at this point you should all have a ruler in front of you so you can see how many millimeters you're working with. Um, so. better view of my object. My box here, if I click on the lower right, the white squares, these white squares show me the different measurements. 20 means that is 20 millimeters or two centimeters. So that's not very big. We're gonna make a box right now that is 40 by 40. So that's 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters. And on the right side and on the left side for the, uh, your X and your Y. This here is going to be my Z. There's another box here. If I look in closely, this is my Z. Click on that. 
and I click on the number, I'm going to change this to 5. So 5 millimeters high. So not very thick. So I got a box that's 40 by 40 by 5. Cool. All right, I'm going to drag it towards the center. Now I want to put something else in the center here. And let's just say um, I want to put text. I'm going to drag the text over. Uh, first thing I need to do is I need to shrink it down a little bit. If I hold the shift key, in, hold the shift key and I drag my box, box in or drag my box out to stretch it. I'm going to drag it to about right there. And then since it's below, so now it's lower than five millimeters because this here is five millimeters, I need to go ahead and raise this up a little bit. So I'm going to raise it up to like seven. And then I'm going to drag it over here to the center. But I want this perfectly centered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select everything. So I'm dragging from the lower right and selecting all the way across. And I'm going to go up to a tool here. And this is the tool I want us all to use is the Align tool. So I have Align. Now I'm going to click on that center button and that center button. And what that does is it aligns it perfectly to the center of my box. And maybe now, like I don't really like this, so maybe I'm going to actually, I'm going to squish my box down to 20. And then I'm going to select these both again. And I'm going to go, that's centered already there, but I want to center it like that. Now it's centered like that. And now I can go ahead, and, uh, I'm going to change this text. And I go over here, and I'm going to go Mr. G. Just like that. And maybe I can change the color now to, maybe on green. So like that. And I, you know, I don't like that, so I'm going to get rid of like that, Mr. G like that. Cool. Um, and maybe I want to change the text, the font a little bit. Uh, I like the sans and mono. And then I'm going to add a bevel to this. So let's add a bevel, bevel of five. Bevel stretches it a little bit. Ooh, too much. How about one? I like that. I'll go with that. Or maybe like... Of 0.5. You can see it. And the bevel, you can see it's just stretching it out a little bit. And now maybe I want to, I could add segments to it. Adding segments adds a rounded edge. I'm going to go for like five on there. You can see it's more round along the edges. Cool. Okay, looks pretty cool. But you know what? What I want to do now, I'm going to actually make this a hole. So I'm changing the green font here that says Mr. G to a hole. And now I'm going to select everything across here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to group it. And grouping it, watch what this does. It cuts it out. So I could cut that all out like that. And I could also, maybe I want to drag a sphere over here. I'm going to drag a sphere. I'm going to make it a skinny sphere. Like so. And I'm going to stretch it. So it's a long center thing. Maybe right here. I'm going to take this here and I'm going to bring it down. So this triangle up here allows me to bring things way down like that. So test that out. See what that does. And now you can see it's going below my work plane like that. But then I'm going to make this a hole again. And I'm going to group it again here. And it cuts out a pretty cool hole, pretty big hole right through the center of that. And maybe this will be my keychain. Also, maybe I want to put a cone on here. So cone, but I want to make it smaller. So I'm shrinking it down using the shift key, and then I'm going to bring it in the air. I need to know, OK, so it's way in the air now. I can't print in the air like that because of gravity. Here, I know that's 5 millimeters. So right here, I can bring select this here, and I'm going to bring this down to 5, like so. Now it's sitting right on top of my um, right on top of my little keychain object. And I'm going to shrink it down again. Put right there. And maybe I want to decorate it. I can put another one around here. I can move this around. And I can put another one on here. And then, um, so there's my keychain right there. Um, the next step, what you're going to be doing is you're actually going to be making your own keychain. And here is an example of what I've done with my keychain. Uh, and you can see I just done it on a lot of letters. 
and I've rotated things around, I've grouped it together. Uh, I'm going to ungroup it now so you can see this here. And I have different colors on here. Ultimately, you can't print in different colors. I made two stars right here. So if I select the star and look at it, I'm going to ungroup it. And you can see there's another star coming right through the center there. So if I group those two together and I've aligned it, it will cut it right out. Um, but there's my keychain. Um, the next step here, um, you're going to be uh, creating your own keychain. So follow those directions on that page.